Now for the latest on the serial killing suspect in Stockton. Just hours ago, Wesley Brownlee made his first court appearance. He's facing three counts of murder, but the district attorney and police chief say more charges may be coming. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera was in the courtroom and joins us live now with the latest. Kurt, the killings have put the community on edge, to say the least, for weeks. Tell us about the mood inside the courtroom today. Well, Laura, I can tell you that it was very intense inside that courtroom today. 43-year-old Wesley Brownlee arraigned in a packed courthouse with media and family of the victims and Brownlee's family looking on. The Stockton Police Chief and District Attorney both promised his reign of terror is over. Shackled and chained for the first time, 43-year-old Wesley Brownlee faced a judge in San Joaquin County Superior Court. He listened intently to the charges, including three counts of murder, one count of possession of a firearm by a felon, and one count of possession of ammunition by a felon. Did you understand the rights I just went over with you? Yes. What would you like to do with your case today? Would you like me to appoint an attorney to represent you? Yes. Revealed in court, Brownlee was arrested with a ghost gun, although police aren't saying if it was connected to all the crimes. Also new, the prosecutor said cellular phone data connected Brownlee close to the scenes of at least three of the homicides. Ballistics and video make up the other evidence police say ties Brownlee to the killings. In all, six people were killed in the series of homicides in the past 18 months, five in Stockton, one in Oakland. We're waiting for additional evidence to be processed through that will um, most most likely, we believe, will allow us the opportunity to add those additional charges. And Stockton Police Chief Stan McFadden says there could be even more victims still out there. We don't know how many cases there are. That's why we're, we still have our tip lines. That's why we're still partnering with our, our, our neighboring agencies. Outside the courthouse, the lone survivor of the serial shootings, Natasha Latour, spoke about seeing Brownlee face to face. Well, he wouldn't give any, any eye contact to anybody, so um, just a little, bit of, a little bit of frustration. But then also immediately I just, um, I, I couldn't imagine being in his situation. The brother and mother of shooting death victim Lawrence Lopez were emotional and grateful an arrest was made, but avoided looking at Brownlee. I didn't even look at him. I didn't even want to look at him because, you know what, he's a Stocktonian. It's just hard to see somebody that would do something like that. And we put in our own jailhouse request for an interview with Brownlee. He refused it. The family also refused comment. He's due back in court here in Stockton next month. We're live in downtown Stockton. Back to you. Kurt, we thank you. You've been following the story from the very beginning. We have all the latest information, including a timeline of the events leading up to this arrest, on our website, abc10.com.